Now, I don't know if I've been living under a rock or not, but when I saw this article trending today in the weather world before I drank coffee, it took me a minute to verify. But once again, I was absolutely blown away to find out it's absolutely true. In fact, every single Great Lake has experienced some sort of tsunami called a meteo tsunami. But according to a new study, as you're seeing on your screen, this one on Lake Michigan in 2018 took the cake for the most rare. That, and of course, we will dive into the severe weather situation continuing to go on all over the United States. Today and tomorrow are going to be quite interesting. <laughs> Stop right there, my friends. If you have not already, click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Click all and you will get all notifications from this channel. And trust me, you won't be disappointed. Welcome back, everyone. April 8th, 2021, 10.05 a.m. I hope you are all having a good morning, especially those of you in the southeast. We could see a little bit of a mess going down there. Louisiana and Mississippi had a very, very long night. As our severe weather forecast seemed to follow the exact path we expected, expected many many severe thunderstorms capable of producing tornadoes some actual tornadoes touching down overnight last night we are certainly receiving a lot of reports of power outages and power lines down flash flooding things of that nature along the southeastern edges of louisiana much of the south coast of mississippi and now as you can see it's moving into that south coast of alabama the panhandle of florida so this area here it's not going to be as bad today but tomorrow's another story i'll show you the areas that need to be watched tomorrow and the next day but take a a look at the shape of this storm. Absolutely brilliant looking storm. Counterclockwise spin just over Iowa and Missouri border. You can kind of see that inlet right there is that central pressure and then we got the big expansion expanding out over multiple states. Taking a look at our marginal connective outlook you can see it's not as bad as yesterday. We only have this one deep green color. We're not getting into the second category or the third like we did yesterday but tomorrow's going to be different. We got to keep an eye on this area tomorrow. The southeast is going to be in the crosshairs. So a much, much more serious situation as we move into tomorrow, stretching from central Texas all the way east, well into Alabama, and then once again the panhandle of Florida and Georgia. And by no means at all am I excluding Kentucky or Tennessee or any of these states right in this area. Mimo the Elf, remember this guys, the belly button. This is a very, very big hot spot for severe weather. It always seems to convect right here or it buckles and then we get that pull up through the southeast, and in some cases that's what turns into our nor'easters for the northeast in this case i don't think we're going to be seeing that i want to just take a second and step back and just take a look and appreciate the power of some of these storms that we are seeing this time of year when we get that cold air mixing with the warm air from the gulf what we get are some beautiful sights yes of course it's dangerous and we don't want anyone in harm's way but just take a look at these powers the straight line winds moving over iowa dipping down into missouri and then this looks like a giant hurricane right in the center part of the country unbelievable sight but more times than not when it comes to nature and beautiful sights it often means that it comes at our disposal as far as humans which is why it's so important to stay up to date and posted constantly on weather whether there's anything severe or not going on if you do in fact live in the southeast or anywhere basically from texas to florida you are inside these marginal risks we have we have 10 million 13 and 26 you add that number together and you get the amount of population that is within the severe weather warnings which is pushing 50 million i do hope all that information helps anyone in need of it. I will keep reporting on the tornadoes throughout today and tomorrow. Obviously, tomorrow's going to be a long day. Now, let's talk about this real quick. It's something that happens fairly common, apparently. I had no idea. But yes, you are reading this correctly. Scientists document first-of-its-kind meteor tsunami that was caused without any tremors or wind. Now, I'm just going to briefly read a little bit of this article. A wave of water known as a meteor tsunami surged across Lake Michigan and damaged homes and boats docks in the beach town of Ludington, Michigan, almost exactly three years ago. That would be 2018. And this particular wave is apparently the first of its kind. It goes on to say a meteor tsunami isn't even uncommon in the Great Lakes. Usually such waves are generated by a change in the atmosphere combined with wind. But the April 13th, 2018 wave was the first event known to have occurred without the influence of wind. So basically the long and short of it, I'm going to continue looking into this phenomenon and study it a little more so I have more information for you. But the reason this is making headlines today not only is because we're approaching the anniversary of that April date three years ago next week, but also how they're teaching people that there is 
a separation between seismic activity causing tsunamis as well as atmospheric conditions and wind and sometimes not wind. I'm going to go ahead and leave that article posted in the description box so you guys can go check it out. Like I said, I'll dig more into it and find out what I can. Very interesting situation. The most important situation going on here in the U.S. though is obviously this storm system causing the tornadoes and severe weather. I will continue to watch this throughout today and tomorrow. I hope you all do too. Thank you all for being here. If you have not already, like, share, and subscribe. It's very important. The notification bell is even more important to keep up to date here. I'll be back later on, guys. Thank you all so much. Shout out to Canada, and watch out for those Mido tsunamis.